all right good day good day everybody and welcome back to my channel so tonight is our nightly surrender guys so we are going to ask spirit what it is that we need to surrender tonight but first go ahead and like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can get all the uploads on this channel and i just really appreciate you guys for tuning in so tonight we're going to ask spirit what is it that we need to surrender also um you know i'm just thinking of a good time to engage with you guys on the live video you know so drop some comments down below if y'all want to uh go live and we can set something up all right so spirit all right so okay so spirit is wanting us to surrender to our defensiveness all right and so it's saying defensiveness is a sign of weakness okay so uh anytime that you're showing a state of defense it, it shows that you know um you don't have the strength to overcome that certain area okay and so it's saying to communicate in a more empowerful way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response all right so what spirit is saying y'all every time we don't have to respond assertive we don't have to be so aggressive we don't have to defend our position all the time that's what the divine is saying and so the divine is saying that people will actually receive it better if you just you know you think about it for a second take a step back and and uh, and give a non-defensive solution to whatever it is all right because defensiveness shows weakness it shows fear you know and it just shows it just shows that you're not strong enough to deal with it in another way it's kind of like when people curse at you and you don't curse back you know is because they can't clearly articulate their point all right so what spirit is saying that you don't have to be so defensive you can communicate your point without the defenses okay so surrender your defensiveness tonight surrender your stubbornness all right so some of us stubborn here all right and so spirit is saying that if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding okay this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So yeah, you need to be able to communicate with people, okay? You don't need to show, um, you don't have to be so stubborn when it comes to dealing with people. Just communicate with them in a manner that will be received by all. Okay, so Spirit ain't saying that you gotta be soft, all right? Because there's a difference between you know, not being stubborn, not being defensive and being soft. So Spirit is saying that you can clearly articulate your point without having to, you know, make such a sound stance. All right. Because it's not being received well, you know, and you don't want to continue to do that because continuously doing that and it's not working is not good. All right. So surrender your stubbornness. All right. And what else does it say? Yeah. So you can communicate more lovingly. All right. Your, your children will respond to you differently. Your friends will respond to you differently. Even your significant other will respond to you differently. Your coworkers, they will respond to you differently because they know that they're not going to get this attitude from you. All right. They know that, that that a lot of times people don't come to you because they know that as soon as they come to you, it's, it's, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be, you know, you're going to be assertive. Um, you're going to be unapproachable, you know, so they just don't come to you but when they do come to you you show like these attributes so what spirit is saying is that go ahead and let it go all right and and don't hold so true to that position all right and just do it in a manner that it will be received by the masses all right versus what you're comfortable with okay so yeah so spirit is telling on y'all tonight all right so divine time and surrender to divine time remember we talked about this stop trying to uh, have things going in the way that you want it to go because it's not going to happen any sooner than the divine wanted to. I'm going to pull one more of these surrenders. Mm, these people pleasing habits coming back up so spirits wanting you to surrender that. They say you're still doing it. Who cares what they think? Who cares how they doing? Who cares? Spirit saying surrender that. Like, Stop even thinking about them. Stop even giving them so much attention because even the attention that you're giving them is people pleasing. So spirit saying stop doing that. All right. So yeah. So we're surrendering this stubborn defensiveness. We're surrendering this divine timing. All right. And we're surrendering this people pleasing behavior. You know, just it's, it's time out for all that. It's time for you. It's, it's time for you. So spirit saying, look, stop doing that. I ain't put you on this earth to be kissing no tail. All right. If they want to deal with you, they'll deal with you. 
But right now is the time for you to just focus on you. And the rest is history. And know that you ain't going to be able to rush nothing. It's all going to happen when the divine wanted to happen. Mm. Boom. So, goddess. Bow. So, that's for you. So, express your divine feminine energy, embracing the magical intuition and nurturing quality. Listen, spirit is saying, you better embrace that goddesshood. Stop trying to push it all back, all right? Spirit is saying that this goddesshood is what's going to really help you tap into that divine energy. Really help you tap into your magical abilities. Okay, so the fact that once you step into, once you truly step into this goddesshood, listen... All of your, all of your senses, all of your six senses are going to open up. You watch. All right. Ooh, so this upside down. So some of y'all had a twin flame. Twin flame and a thing. Let me tell you something about these twin flames, y'all. So twin flames, you always going to learn something. The spirit emphasizes on this right here. So upside down. So that, that may be who some of y'all trying to please, all right. So twin flame is saying... The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. Okay, so this person right here on y'all, this twin flame, this is that romantically based spiritual relationship that may have worked out, may not have worked out, or might be in the midst of going on. And Spirit is saying that you about to find a whole bunch of answers to your questions based off this twin flame relationship. Spirit is saying that this relationship is definitely about to teach you some things if it hasn't already taught you some things but that's what spirit is saying like this thing is upside down y'all that means they want me to emphasize i'm gonna go ahead and switch around for the camera but yes all the answers you was looking for was in that relationship now some of you guys may be in this relationship still some of you guys may not be in this relationship but it's about to be some lessons learned from this relationship y'all and you seminar person if y'all don't get y'all tail and start, even if you guys start your seminar online, do it. If y'all don't get y'all tail and start doing that. Also, tired of spirit reminding me to tell y'all that. So I don't know what to do. No, I'm joking. I ain't tired of spirit telling me nothing. But it's just that, you know, the fact that it's continuously showing up. Like they're saying that these are where your gifts are. Even though you don't see it, it's there. And that's why they're going to keep on reminding you. Spirit saying that it's going to come up in all these readings until you do something. Because they really need you to get on target. Spirit saying that they're giving you your last chance. I ain't said Spirit said it. They said this is your last chance. Make it count. Seminars, webinars, workshops. That's you. That's your spiritual gift. You need to be attending them. You need to be giving speeches. You need to be taking part in them. Because it's all this is all a part of your life purpose right here. Spirit is about to, listen, y'all don't want Spirit to take these talents and gifts away from y'all. So go ahead and use them. All right. All right. So, bow, freedom. You, you, you have the choice to do whatever it is that you want to do right now. You freedom. You ain't got no work. You ain't got nothing to do. Writing. Look at you. I'm telling, listen, Spirit about to get you. Oh, so I'm talking to three different groups of people. Bow. So listen, you indecisive on something and all your excuse for everything that uh you were supposed to do was that you didn't have the time. Now spirit is saying that you got the freedom to do everything you want to do. You got options, you got opportunity, you got everything right here, but you up here playing games. They done gave you a divine break, a massive break. I'm talking about spirit done pull so many strings for you, they done got the whole world on board with you focusing on your gifts. But here you is with more excuses. Sleeping too late. And then the day gone. Then you get your day started. And then there's no more day left. And then you got to go back to sleep again. Spirit said you are playing with them. <laughs> okay. And they tired of it. Alright. You authors out there. Go ahead and write that book. Because you're going to heal people. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. And I'm, guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to start tonight. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to write my first, second paragraph. I had start, I already had to do the chapter. But I'm going to start this one fresh. And Spirit saying that we need to write these books, y'all. And they're going to keep on telling us. And they're going to keep telling they gonna keep on telling us until we do it. So it's going to get annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and start writing my paragraph. 
So you got a book inside you that needs to be expressed, all right? Now, for the other hands, for the last group, Spirit is saying that this right here is your calling. Spirit is saying that you probably already been feeling like that you were supposed to be doing this. Spirit is saying that you got the right to discern all of these messages just like how I'm giving these messages to you. You have the same power and the same control and the same gifts to discern these messages for yourself. And Spirit is saying that you need to step into that. Alright. They saying that you have all the answers, all the guidance within you to do this. Alright. So if this resonates with you deeply, listen. You need to go ahead and get started. Because Spirit got messages that they need to send through you. Alright. You're going to be able to receive these downloads. Okay. Alright. Oracle card readers. Okay. Spirit done said it. Hmm. Better go on. do it, right? <laughs> Spirit not playing with y'all. They don't gave you these gifts and you just sitting on them. Mm -hmm. All right, Spirit, what else do we have? What else do you want to know? Let's see what Spirit got for y'all, y'all. I already know how Spirit do. Spirit be coming through with the clutch. They don't be playing sometimes, all right? All right, so. Y'all about to be expecting a miracle here. Okay. So a miracle is about to happen. For you and your kid. Whether you like it or not. For you and your kid or you and your kids. This this right here is just a mom and her child. Okay. And so. Um, this mom. This right here is a mom and her baby. But as you can see. She got a whole bunch of. Uh, children around her. That she's teaching. Okay. And so this could be a symbolism of a motherly teacher okay uh this could also be uh, uh um this could also be a mom with a kid or a lot of kids and the divine is telling you that you are about to get a miracle because mother mary and they're saying to have faith that your prayers have been heard and they're being answered so for some of you that are on the break of giving up spirit is saying for you to have faith all right spirit is saying for you to have faith Okay, because everything is about to you about to receive clarity on a lot of things. Okay, so yeah, and if um, and if the five masculine is watching, expect a miracle. A miracle is about to happen. Okay. All right, so divine passion. This was upside down. So be honest with yourself. What's in your heart to do? Spirit wants you to really sit down. With yourself and figure out what you really want to do okay because they keep asking you asking you asking you, and you don't have an answer for them and then when you ask them they don't they 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 know what you need to do but you gotta want to do it so they're giving you messages and sending sending signals to you and you just like oh they did it. because you you never done it before spirit said they told you but you said that you never done it before so now you you just not doing it, all right? So listen up. Dig deep in your heart and find your divine passion because it's coming. Okay, it's there. It's right there. Your passion is right there. The spirit saying you need to tap into it. All right. So whoever that's for, hey, go ahead and tap into your gifts now. Go ahead and tap into them. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, so spirit is saying, y'all, this healing right here. Oh, this healing right here, all upright. Spirit is saying, your healing involves self love. Spirit is saying, you don't love yourself enough. That's why love ain't working out. You too busy trying to please love. People pleasing. You need to love yourself in order to receive love. You need self love. Love yourself in order to receive love. So you can know how to love others. But you need to. You, the department that you need to heal is your self love. Because Spirit said you don't love yourself. Spirit said you tell yourself that you love yourself. But you don't really love yourself. Spirit saying that there is love. You love things about yourself, but you don't completely love yourself. So you need to work on self-love. Okay? Sexuality. 
Some of y'all don't feel sexy. Hmm. Y'all need to work on that. Some of y'all confused as to really what it is that y'all really want out of this, out of out of your sexuality. Like some of y'all don't know what y'all want. Some of y'all don't even know what gender um you desire. You know, you have you having some struggles with that. Even though it's later in life, you feel like you knew, but you now you like, dang, I, I really don't know. I really don't know what I want, what I desire, you know. But Spirit is saying you need to heal your sexuality. Something something involving your sexuality need to be healed. And that may have something to do with why you don't love yourself. But yeah. And lastly, Spirit is saying it's a hole in your soul, baby. There is a hole in your soul. And nothing can fill this void. It's like you living but you dead. It's like you're living. But you're dead. You're like the walking death. You're depressed. Now you gotta figure out what got you there. Spirit saying you have to heal that. You have to breathe life into this. Spirit saying nothing can mend this hole but you finding yourself. That's deep. It's a hole in your soul. Gotta work on that. Heal it. I want y'all to take notes of these cards because I don't want this nightly surrender to just go unnoticed. There's a lot of nightly surrenders that we go through. I'm not sure how much of it we work through, you know. But this one right here, this is very important. You know why it's so important? Because it's dealing directly with you. Now, we're going to pull from the four agreements. I'll just grab two of them. So, the first one is be impeccable with your words. Cultivate faith. So, to have great faith is to have great power. Because your intent, your will, is undivided. When your words isn't dissipated by doubt, the power of your words become even stronger. So the reason why the divine is wanting you to have more faith or to cultivate faith is because although I said that spirit is saying that a miracle is going to happen, for some of you, you don't believe it and it's because you don't have faith. You don't have faith that it can happen. Like your your circumstances are too... Your circumstances are too surreal right now, too unbelievable and you feel like Oh, there's no way that this miracle could happen. And guess what? If you continue to think that way, guess what? It won't happen. Because it's law of attraction. You will self-sabotage. But they want you to think and speak positively. Because once you begin to speak positively, positively and be impeccable with your choice of wording, then you'll see your life turning into what you wanted it to turn into. The next one is don't make assumptions and eliminate gossip again. So making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we're right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. So spirit is saying you need to stop that gossiping because you're wrong. They're saying like you're making an assumption about this whole situation still. And you over here playing victim being the victim and you're trying to make others believe that you're right about what you're assuming about this situation and so spirit saying you gotta stop that so eliminate the gossip eliminate the assumptions don't make them only speak truth only speak truth only speak love only speak light 
There are going to be times when you don't feel like it, but Spirit is saying that you need to. Okay? Because even what you're planning and what you're planting and what you're believing about yourself or what you're planting and what you're believing is making you even more depressed because you're cultivating these lies and you're believing these lies, which is causing a deeper hole. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, we're just going to surrender our defensiveness, surrender our stubbornness, surrender to divine timing, and surrender the habit of people pleasing. Like, everything can come together. You have all the opportunities right in front of you. Some of you have this very same gift, and you're just sitting on it. And Spirit is saying, like, they need y'all to get up and start doing what y'all were set to do. And Spirit is also saying that this is y'all last chance to do it. Hmm. Yup. So that's it, guys. Heal that self-love. Heal sexuality. Heal that hole in your soul. You know, be impeccable with your words. And don't make assumptions. Drop me a comment. Drop me a thumbs up. Share if you care. And I'll talk to y'all later.